that's taken together with a reason why people believe, desperate to believe, together with the fact that you don't need actually a God, in a sense amounts to an argument against the existence of God. Well, I, I guess I don't see that. I mean, why doesn't that commit the genetic fallacy of trying to say that by explaining how a belief originates, you thereby show the belief to be false? Even if it were true that belief in the existence of God were the product of fear and anxiety and so forth, which I don't for a minute admit, but even if it were, it, that's simply a genetic fallacy to say that because that's the way the belief originates, but that's only one that therefore the belief is false. But that's only one half of the argument. I'm not saying that that alone is adequate, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that the fact that science can account for everything it alone is also adequate, but taken together, the fact that, one, that science is omnipotent and the fact that I can understand why people like you desperately want to believe in God. That is an argument against the existence no, of God. But two fallacious arguments put together don't, don't make a They're sound not, argument, right? They are, but <laughs> but, but, but um, do you deny that science cannot account for everything? Yes, I do deny that science So can what account. can't it account for? Well, I, had you brought that up in the debate, I had a number of examples that I was going to give. Uh, I think there are a good number of things that cannot be scientifically proven, but that we're all rational to accept. Let, so, me list, let me list five. Logical and mathematical truths cannot be proven by science. Science presupposes logic and math, so that to try to prove them by science would be arguing in a circle. Uh, metaphysical truths, like there are other minds other than my own, or that the external world is real, or that the past was not created five minutes ago with an appearance of age are rational beliefs that cannot be scientifically proven. Ethical beliefs about statements of value uh, are not accessible by the scientific method. You can't show by science whether the Nazi scientists in the camps did anything evil as opposed to the scientists in Western democracies. Aesthetic judgments, number four, cannot be accessed by the scientific method because the beautiful, like the good, cannot be scientifically proven. And finally, most remarkably, would be science itself. Science cannot be justified by the scientific method. Science is permeated with um, unprovable assumptions. For example, in the special theory of relativity, the whole theory hinges on the assumption that the speed of light is constant in a one-way direction between any two points A and B. But that strictly cannot be proven. We simply have to assume that in order to hold to the theory. But you're missing the whole... So put you, that in your pipe and smoke. Yeah, you right. okay. <laughs> yeah. So okay. we are, uh, none of these beliefs can be scientifically proven, and yet they are accepted by all of us, and we're 